What do a garage band beat, a video camera, and computers with editing software all have in common? These second graders at Paul Ecke Central School know. They are the tools they use every day to learn math in Julie Heinze's class. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. The unique program is known as Smart Kids as Agents of Change. It incorporates music like rap songs about math written and performed by the students. I'll pick up six so I can count by six. Along with computer and digital video technology to instill a sense of excitement about learning. 10, 20, 30, 40, But its most striking innovation is the way the students study math. The students are handed word problems and then given the space and the time to figure out the answers on their own. So if you count by 10, just Any child can solve the problem. All you have to do is give them the chance and the time and then you get to watch and you'll be surprised. And there's not a day that goes by that I'm not surprised by what I see. And I've been doing this for 10 years. The students take a variety of approaches to solve the word problem. Some prefer drawing figures. Others use counting frames or stack building blocks. Let me try to figure it out by putting all these tiny little cubes in rows. It's hard. It, it, it is hard to kind of step back and let them struggle at times. The students learn that they will have time to negotiate and analyze their own thinking. And that's really powerful. They're being, they are used to being told how to do math, how to think about it, how to solve. And this program allows them to figure those things out and the teachers have to learn to have the patience to let them experience that process. And that process pays off in so many ways. The proof is on the video. That's right, when a student has come up with an answer, he or she gets to explain it on camera. They prepare for being videotaped, they prepare to do the videotaping, and they step it up a notch because they are, they're in charge of every piece of that learning process. Melody is today's camera person. I put the camera on Kobe and then for a couple seconds and then I put it on the paper. Kobe puts on the microphone and prepares his explanation. Right on set. 10 plus 2 equals 12, so I did it to every single row. I said 10 plus 2 equals 12, and I said 10 plus 2 equals 12. That's two rows of 12. The class listens intently as Kobe goes through his problem-solving process step by step. So I knew my answer was... Um, Five rows of 12. Then his classmates ask him questions that they had about the process. Don't you think there's an easier way besides just counting by ones? They're learning collaborative skills, and they're also learning respect, and they're learning a classroom climate of how to treat each other and how to talk to each other and how to give each other suggestions and also communicate. The second graders are even teaching some of the sixth graders a thing or two. The second graders we're finding are really great at articulating their answers. And some of our students, by the time they get to sixth grade, they just want to get the correct answer. And they have a hard time explaining, so that's where our students are really learning from some of the second graders. And it's not just students teaching students. It's students teaching teachers, too. And I said 10 plus 2 equals 12. That's two rows of 12. Every week, Paul Ecke math teachers form collaborative groups that meet to study and discuss the students' video creations. Because when he said you should have counted by tens he's, and then added two. Normally, yeah, that's, I mean, that's... Just, I thought that was a pretty advance. Yeah. The teachers are learning from each other, but the best part is that they're learning directly from the students they teach. And if the videos don't confirm the value of the program, just ask the kids. I think it's wonderful. It's probably my most challenging class. I like my teacher. She's a really good teacher. It has opportunities that most other classes don't have. And we have nice books. And I love science and math. I think it's a better way of learning that the students actually work for themselves and they get a better understanding of what goes on and how they're able to it take these same applications that they learned in school, take them home and be able to apply them to the outside world. Program assessments have documented impressive results already, but for the teachers, the rewards are immeasurable. For me, it's a gift because every day when I come to school and I get to teach this way and watch my students do what they do, 
That is the best part. There couldn't be anything you know, more fulfilling than watching students, especially as young as first and second grade, really come into their own, uh, respecting themselves, knowing that they've learned, being able to tell you exactly what they learned and how they got there. Um, and they're happy. They're really happy to come to school.